The Chinese government have just made a very, very bad decision. I hope they don't ban me from entering the country. They could, but anyway, they made a really bad decision and it will hurt their EV sales worldwide. This is, in fact, borderline disastrous. I can't believe they've actually done this. It's, um, it's wild. I mean, it's absolutely insane that they did this without considering the fact that this will really hurt their export sales because so many buyers demand this feature. And when I say so many buyers, a lot of people didn't haven't bought certain cars. I mean, thousands. And I've seen this on forums. I get emails about this, messages all the time. If, this, if the car doesn't have this feature, they won't buy it. It's extremely common. For someone who's owned a Tesla, uh, very good chance that if you've owned a Tesla, in fact, I would say more than a 90% chance, and your new EV that you're looking at doesn't have this feature that Teslas have, you're not going to buy it. And, and it's just going to be devastating for these companies because they're probably not going to realize that these regulations they're enforcing now in China, removing this feature, one pedal driving, it's been banned in China. I mean, this is wild. This is kind of like, what? Are you kidding me? One pedal driving is safe, clearly safe, and it's something that drivers actually want. And it's a benefit. It actually means you're not using your brakes. Brake dust causes pollution. It re reduces efficiency in cars. And ultimately, I um, I think one pedal driving is one of the best things about having an EV. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. If you provide, if this channel provides you with any value, please subscribe to the channel. I'll place a link in the description as well to our YouTube members page. China has a new automotive standard. It is uh, banning one pedal driving. Car News China says that China's new national standard for passenger car braking systems called GB21670 2025, it will impact single pedal driving. Uh, and this is obviously a feature that new car brands have had to had to put into their cars in order to compete with Tesla. I can tell you now, the XPNG6 that I own, it doesn't have full one-pedal driving. It's very close, but not quite. It's like 95%. The new version, the new G6, it has one-pedal driving. And that's all the questions I got asked. People said, oh, you went to China. You tested the G6. Does it have one-pedal driving? That's the only thing I wanted to know. People were like, oh, yeah, great, 500 kilowatt charging. That's cool. But what about one-pedal driving? Does it have it full 400%? Okay, cool. It does have it. And they went and placed an order. I'm telling you, this literally happened. A lot of people did this. So this is crazy. Anyway, the new standard approved by the State Administration for Market Regulation and the Standardization Administration of China prohibits vehicles from defaulting to a single pedal mode that allows deceleration to a complete stop solely by releasing the accelerated pedal. Prohibits this feature. The new standard set to be implemented in phases will take effect for most new vehicle type approvals on the 1st of January 2026, with the specific provisions regarding single pedal mode becoming effective on January the 1st, 2027. So I don't exactly know what that means, but either way, this standard applies for all cars as of January the 1st, 2027. It'll be illegal to sell a car with one pedal driving in China. Yeah, I mean, this is wild. Some of these new regulations in China lately are showing massive oversight from the government, which I don't understand. I mean, it's like bizarre that they think that this is a good idea. The rest of the world's like, no, no, it's good, safe, it works. China's like, no, it doesn't. And we're gonna actually, <laughs> we're gonna actually hurt our own automakers by banning it. Anyhow, here are the features. Mandatory ABS installation, all newly approved passenger vehicles will be required to install ABS. This mature active safety technology helps prevent. The fact that ABS wasn't mandatory and it will be in 2027, it's weird, isn't it, right? There are so many unsafe cars in China. There really is, guys. There's so many, I mean, look, there's 130 EV manufacturers. There's hundreds of car brands in China. And a lot of them are just selling you like lead acid battery cars, EVs with lead acid batteries. Uh, they're selling, uh, don't get me wrong, these are not the mainstream. These are like budget type vehicles, but they exist, there's lots of these that exist. There's literally millions of budget cars in China that have no safety features at all. So those cars will probably skirt these regulations. I don't know. But anyhow, in addition, restrictions on single pedal mode. The new regulations specifically address the energy recovery systems common in new energy vehicles. They prohibit vehicles from being set to a default mode where releasing the accelerator pedal alone can bring the vehicle to a complete stop. This aims to mitigate the risk of drivers developing a delayed reaction to the brake pedal in urgent situations. Is this accurate? Guys, is it true that drivers develop a delayed reaction to the brake pedal in urgent situations? 
I don't feel that's accurate. I feel like in my um, experience, one pedal driving is actually probably safer than uh, normal driving. I don't actually think it creates this delayed reaction to the brake pedal. What do you guys think? Do you agree with this? Do you disagree? Let me know what your thoughts are. Brake light in addition, the next feature, brake light activation for energy recovery. The standard also mandates that brake lights must illuminate when the deceleration caused by energy recovery exceeds 1.3 um, ms squared. This signal must remain active as long as deceleration is occurring, alerting following vehicles and other road users about reducing crashing, etc. Of course, that feature makes total sense. And cars already sh that should already be a regulation. I'm surprised that it's not, but that I wouldn't argue with that one. Single pedal driving, once celebrated by Elon Musk, says car news China as the ultimate form of future driving, simplifies the driving process by allowing drivers to control both acceleration and deceleration with a single pedal. I don't think it's just about simplifying the driving process, so it does simplify it, I agree, but it also makes it more efficient. You don't use your brakes, uh, brake dust is poisonous, but you also save money because you're sending so much electricity into the battery. You don't feel that like stop you know when you stop and start with an internal combustion engine car you know it's costing you money right every time you brake uh there we go there's more brake dust every time you brake uh road is going to have to be replaced eventually it's costing you money and every time you brake you've got to start accelerating again right so you're losing heat through the brakes just that heat that's causing your car to slow down it's just wasted energy the awesome part about an EV is you don't even care anymore you stop and start so what? Barely doesn't really make any difference at all. It just sends electricity power you know, back into your battery and then you use that battery to get going again. You're not losing any money. That's one of my favorite features about an EV. Pressing the pedal accelerates the vehicle while releasing it causes the vehicle to slow down or even stop. This mode enhances energy recovery efficiency, extending the vehicle's range, says Car News China, and improving driving comfort, especially in congested urban traffic. Beyond Tesla, other manufacturers such as Mercedes-Benz, BMW, NIO, and now some XPeng models have incorporated single pedal mode as an option due to requests from car buyers. A lot of buyers saying, no, I won't buy that EV unless it has single pedal driving. And that will continue. Think about it, right? EV sales, who sells the most of them per every year? Who, or who has for the last few years anyway? It's been Tesla, right? So most people worldwide, well, not most of them, but I'd say 50% of EV drivers are probably owned a Tesla at some point, gotten used to this feature. Try selling them a car without it. They're probably going to go, no thanks. Safety concerns have emerged in China, say regulators. Long-term reliance on single pedal driving, they say can lead to delayed driver reactions and a potential misapplication of pedals in emergencies. How do you misapply pedals in emergencies? So what, you accelerate? That doesn't add up. I mean, surely you just, you're used to the fact that pulling your foot off the accelerator slows you down. That's the same in an internal combustion car, right? If you're accelerating in an internal combustion car, pull your foot off the accelerator, you don't slow down much, but you don't go faster. I don't really understand the logic here. They say that in situations requiring sudden braking, drivers accustomed to a single pedal operation might not react quickly enough to switch to the brake pedal, increasing the risk of accidents. Tesla itself has acknowledged these concerns, having previously removed the mandatory single pedal mode in its over-the-air update, up, giving users the option to choose. So I don't know if this law will change. Maybe it'll change and we'll find out that actually, no, they're saying it's not mandatory as long as your car has the option of having single pedal driving or not single pedal driving, that's fine. But it doesn't look like that's the case. It looks like they're actually saying that um, single pedal driving will be banned. I hope that's not the case though. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are about this in the comments. Thanks for watching.